Hey guys, it's Platinum bringing you a theory for Dragon Ball Super, a very quick theory that I came up with. I don't know, I'm pretty sure most of you have probably figured this out already, but I'm just going to talk about it very, very quickly. Um, I have thought about this for a very long time. Um, for the Universe Survival Arc, um, how will Goku take responsibility for each and every single universe that will be destroyed in the Universe Survival Tournament, also known as the Tournament of Power? So let me just cut to the chase. I don't think many people have come up with this answer yet, so I will be very, very brief. The answer to Goku stopping Zeno from destroying the universes is true as we said. Asking the Omni King to bend the rules around would be an insult to the Grand Priest and Zeno himself, and could result to erasing Goku and possibly his universe right off the bat. In short, Goku started this whole farce, the Tournament of Power. He must take responsibility. You may be wondering if Goku can somehow stop Zeno from destroying the universes. He obviously can't. Goku won't be able to do anything to the Omni King, period. There is only one thing Goku can do. Universe 7 has to win this tournament for the sake of all the other universes. I say this because the most pure-hearted individual known is Goku. We don't know anything else about these other gods, whether they're pure-hearted or they're evil. Goku won't beat Zeno, but put simply, my theory is this. After all the universes are brutally destroyed, Goku will use the Super Dragon Balls to bring them all back, thus restoring order. That's the only way I can see it going down, guys. You probably already figured this out already. Some of you are probably just like, okay, that probably works. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to go down. Why else would Toriyama include the Super Dragon Balls? What really bugs me is that the Grand Priest and Zeno have no regard for human life. They have no regard for any human life. They don't care. They come from a much higher place. And they simply do not care if they destroy universes. Because they're gods. They can do it. They come from a higher place. Zeno doesn't know any better. He doesn't. He simply, destruction is the only thing they know. They are savages. You can't take this as, you know, some, you can't take this lightly. Nobody can take this lightly. I'm surprised, like, Goku's even still alive. I'm pretty sure, like, all of these gods are really pissed right now. They want to kill Goku real bad. Maybe some of them are just like, you know what? I don't even care about this fool. I'm going to win the tournament. I don't know what these gods are thinking right now, what's going on through their minds. But we know that Goku's at fault, he's a complete idiot, and I don't think Goku's taking this seriously enough. Because after that last episode, it was, eh, I don't know what to say. But Goku, you really need to step it up. But anyways, that's all I have for this theory. If you guys like this theory of the Super Dragon Balls, let me know in the comments. Um, most of you have probably figured this out by now. I'm pretty sure the other YouTubers have figured it out. But let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Um... And uh, I'll see you in another Dragon Ball Theory video, I guess. Alright, peace out. Stay frosty.